Panthers, welcome to Pomona High School. My name is Mr. Guy, so I'm the principal here at Pomona High School. And you can see our beautiful school in the background there. And I wanted to have that behind me uh, as I welcome you to Pomona. I'm somewhere out here close to the 50 yard line up here on the hill. And uh, it's just a, a beautiful day. And it's always a great day at Pomona when you get a chance to, to be up here and uh, to see your school and uh, the blue sky and the green grass. and. Uh, when I look back at that school, I just think of all the great students who have come through, all the amazing accomplishments they've done, and how proud I always was of uh, all the students who have come through Pomona, just uh, uh, wearing the school colors with pride, working as hard as they can, uh, doing whatever it takes to, to accomplish their goals and to make their dreams come through, and uh, whatever they wanna do with the rest of their lives after high school. Pomona is the launching pad to, to get them going there. So this is a chance for me to say hello to you, but without just using my own words, I did invite uh, some alumni, some of the students who uh, graduated from Pomona and who were students here when I have been the principal. And I'm heading into my 10th year as principal, I can't believe that. But that means that I've seen thousands of Panthers come through here. And uh, the memories are, are really thick for me with uh, all the great Panthers and uh, I'll never forget them uh, for all the things they've done for the school and for me and uh, the appreciation that they've shown for uh, Pomona and uh, that they don't forget about it you know it was an important place for them and it helped launch them and so this is a, a little video package here where I have a representation of Panthers from the last 10 years or so who are going to give you a message I asked them if they would be willing to talk to you as the incoming Panthers and what's important and what was important for them while they were here and what has kept them moving forward uh, through their next phases of life and uh, onward into all their dreams coming true and uh, some of the things that they learned here that carry them through. So enjoy this. I am glad uh, as much as I look back at Pomona and I think about the students who have been here, uh, when you get into the summertime, I always think about the future and the Panthers who are coming in. It makes me excited. I can't wait to meet you and uh, some of the great things that are going to happen here at Pomona. You get to be a part of it. And it's just a matter of working hard, understanding that this is school, and you do have a job to do here at, at Pomona High School. It isn't just all fun. The fun comes from working hard, and that's what the students, uh, the alumni in this package, are going to talk to you a little bit about. So enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. Panthers, I'm Jeremy Gonzalez, class of 2017. I'm a mechanical engineer at South Dakota School of Mines now. I just want to express how important these next four or less years of school are for you. It really will take you far in life. So, attack everything you do in high school with confidence and ambition, and keep Pomona on top where it belongs. Go Panthers! Hey Panthers, this is Ashley from class of 2017. Hey, I just wanted to let you guys know that attitude is everything. Speaking from experience, life can knock you down, and it hurts, but it's all about how you stand back up and fight through it. As long as you do that, you can go wherever you want in life. So good luck, Panthers. Hi, my name is Jacob V. Hill. Do you know what it's like to be a Panther? It's putting in five hours for Postmates and DoorDash just to pay rent. It's putting in your homework two weeks in advance just so you don't have to worry about it and getting the recognition that you deserve. I am living in California and I am doing Postmates, DoorDash. I have a second job and I'm going to school full time. And I will never stop. I will never quit because you know why? Because I'm a Panther. And these opportunities do not come to me. I earn them. Hopefully you can do the same. Go Big Black. My name is Madison, class of 2019 from Pomona High School. I'm here to tell you how important it is to keep trying new things because you have a huge support system around you and this is the perfect time to figure out what your passions are. Remember to put 110% into everything you do because that's what a Panther looks like. Remember to have fun at your time here at Pomona and remember once a Panther, always a Panther. Hey Panthers, Nevada Royal Ball, class of 2013. I just wanted to wish you good luck over the next four years. It's going to be some of the best times of your life. Uh, one piece of advice is uh, don't be afraid to fail anything you do, whether it's academic, athletic, uh, outside of school, um, and just enjoy your next four years. Oh, hey Panthers, uh, fellow alumni here. Just wanted to remind you how you do anything is how you do everything. So stay at those academics and try hard at those athletics. Hey, what's up, Panthers? Danny Williams here, class of 2016. Just wanted to give you guys some words of encouragement that your hard work in all your sports, whether it be on the track, the field, the court, whatever it is, all that hard work does pay off, okay? I'm not wearing this state champion shirt for nothing. Individually, I won state for the triple jump, 
And on the boys' side, me and my team got it done for our school, okay? We, we got to hang up a nice banner in the gym that's going to live on forever. Now, if that's something you guys strive for, then it all starts where you practice. Practice like it's the real thing, like it's the real game. And I promise you guys, you will see positive results. One more thing, Mr. Geis, if anyone beats one of my two records, let me know. And remember, Panthers, go Big Black. Hi guys, my name is Kelsey Boychuk. I graduated the class of 2018. I go to Iowa State University now. I'm on the gymnastics team. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know how great of a place Pomona is. I wouldn't be where I was today without the school. Um, the support is amazing and you have a lot of utilities to help you throughout the next four years. So work hard and go Big Black. Hey Panthers, my name is Derek Honeyman. I'm a part of the class of 2017. I'm a journalism and political science major now at Northern Arizona University. I'm also a congressional intern here at the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, school is important. I encourage you to stay strong, do your best. All that hard work, it's going to pay off in the end. Uh, and go Panthers! Hey, what's going on, Panthers? It's Archie Colgan here, uh, 2013 Pomona graduate, 2018 University where I'm a graduate. I'm just reaching out to let you guys know that you guys are in a great spot over at Pomona. Uh, I attribute a lot of my successes that I've had in my life uh, to the years that I've had as a Panther. I know one thing that you always get when you're uh, part of that Panther family is, is lifelong support. So uh, always believe in yourself, always believe in those around you, and uh, as always, go Big Black. class of 2014 and I'm just reaching out today to talk to you a little bit about your next few years at Pomona. Biggest piece of advice that I have for you is to have some sort of goal in mind for what it is that you want to do after graduation because that day comes a lot sooner than you might think. Uh, whether you want to join the military or you want to go to college or whatever it is that you want to do, have a goal in mind and be willing to do anything that it takes to get to that point. For me, I always had the dream of wanting to fly for the Navy and I did everything in my power to make that happen. While I was at Pomona, I did golf, debate, student council, track, just about anything that I could to try and boost my resume. And it was a lot of work. And you're going to get out of it what you put into it. You need to be willing to put forth the effort to achieve your goals. Um, in the end, it absolutely will pay off. And for me, it did immensely. When I graduated, I accepted an appointment to the United States Merchant Marine Academy. Graduated just this last year accepted a commission into the United States Navy as an ensign. I'm currently down in Pensacola, Florida, working to get my wings and become a Naval Flight Officer. You're going to hit a lot of speed bumps along the way, and not only is that the case in high school, but that's going to be the case for the rest of your life, and you need to learn now, if you haven't already, that you got to get back up and keep powering through it to achieve your dreams and achieve your goals. Um, if it makes anyone feel better, I failed Miss Noble's calculus class during my senior year of high school. And that was pretty rough, but I needed to get back up and finish and graduate. And I eventually graduated with a 4.3 GPA and went on to get a degree in engineering. So just keep that in mind as you move forward that just because something bad happens now doesn't mean that that's going to define who you are as a person. So take these next few years to learn about yourself and learn about what you want to become because you'll be honestly amazed at what you can do if you just put the effort and time into achieving your dreams. So enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the next few years at Pomona. I know I sure did. Uh, and go Big Black. Hi Panthers. My name is Kelly Serrano, class of 2018, and I just want to share a few quick things with you. One, everyone says it, but the next four years really do fly by. Enjoy every single moment because before you know it, it's graduation day and you're walking across that stage. Two, you have an amazing group of teachers behind you to support you through whatever you need. The teachers at Pomona, really did change my life and I I am so thankful for each and every one of them because without them I don't know where I would be three after high school please do what you want to do don't let anyone make you feel like what you want to do isn't good enough or that you're not going to be successful because it's up to you to make your future don't let anyone choose your future for you when I was a girl like a little girl I wanted to be a hairdresser um, but I soon figured out that I was expected to go to college and um, hopefully go into the medical field because I had two older siblings who um, they both now have doctorate degrees. So I was expected to follow in their footsteps and that's not something that I wanted for me. Um, I seriously told, I told my parents I was seriously considering going to cosmetology school in September of my senior year 
and they did not take it lightly, which was definitely hard. Um, by this point, I was already accepted to a college, to a university, and um, I was set to go into the pre-nursing program, um, and it wasn't what I wanted for me. So throughout my senior year, I would constantly have discussions and more like arguments with my parents um, about me not wanting to go and I graduated thinking I would go to college to be a nurse and it wasn't until July after my senior year where I sat down with my parents for the last time and told them that that is not what I wanted um, that I didn't think it was fair that I let someone else choose my future which I think is really important now um, stand up for yourself because if you don't stand up for yourself no one will you need to do what's right for you and you know what's best for you um, I'm I have their support now which is an amazing feeling and I'm so happy where I am I'm so happy to be going to school for what I love and what I have passion for I am about halfway done with my program and I will be done in December of 2019 um, and it's a really cool feeling to know that I have a plan for myself afterwards and it's just an amazing feeling to just go to school happy, to go work at a salon and to enjoy my job. I'm just in a place where I'm very content with what I'm doing and I truly believe that had I forced myself into going into college, into nursing school because um, it's what someone else wanted for me, I don't think I would be as... I'm um, happy in my life as I am. I have met some of the most amazing people at my school and I really do think everything happens for a reason and I'm so thankful that I was able to stand up to this big weight on my shoulders that like was pushing me into something that I didn't want and I'm, I'm really happy that I had the courage after months and months to do what I love and to, ha to go into something that's not viewed as professional um hairdressing does have a big stigma around it that we're all smokers and we all we aren't smart and we just weren't good enough for college which i think is completely false i have a passion for it and it's what i want to do and it's what i love and i am determined to be successful in what i'm doing and um i think that without like i said some of those teachers at Pabona, I don't think I would have had the courage to tell my parents that college wasn't for me. Um, there's one teacher in particular who for years told me to follow my dreams and she is one of the main reasons I did what I did and I am I am where I am. So she knows who she is but I'm very thankful for her and um, it's really important that you do what you want to do whether or not it's viewed as the right path for you um yep uh i think that's it uh go big black all right panthers well i hope those messages from our alumni uh made sense to you maybe talk to you a little bit uh, better than i can uh, those everyone you just saw there came right through this school and uh, they participated in some of the things you want to participate in they when they walked in the door as a freshman, they were nervous about where they might fit and whether they'd make any friends, whether they'd have a chance to uh, do some great things, just like you. Um, but you can hear from them, I hope, uh, that so much is possible at Pomona and you can do so many great things and that it's okay to trip up every now and then, fall down, pick yourself up. It's okay to do, uh, it's okay to, to mess up. It's okay to, to maybe get a lower grade as long as you pick yourself up and you have a goal and you're just trying as hard as you can, you will get to great places. I'm looking forward to seeing you Panthers. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Go Big Black.